to all 25 YAC students who are planning to write animal husbandry practical. So these are some few questions for you to write it down, study it, add it to your study material, add all these things to what you are trying you are planning to study for your upcoming YAC animal husbandry practical for 2025. So as you can see, this is specimen A. These are the specimens. This is the question I extracted from each of the specimen, and then these are the answers. You can see them very well. So when as you're watching this video, take your pen with uh, with your book, then copy down all these things down. Then after copying it, then take your time to study them. If you study them together with whatever you have been reading so far, then the both things will help you in your exams. I mean, it's going to be what? It's going to be useful for you in your exam. So as you can see, I wrote predicted YH25 animals boundary practical by Matt Kim. And this is my phone number. So in case you want to get in touch with me, then send a DM, send a WhatsApp message to this particular number you are seeing here. And don't forget to share this thing to other students because it's actually going to help them. It's going to help them together with whatever they are reading. Now let's go through it one after the other. Look at specimen A. So the question I derive from that is name specimen A. And specimen A is wood shaving. Now, and the, from the question it says, and state one of its major uses in a poultry house. Then what is the uses? It is used as bedding to absorb moisture and dropping. The other specimen is specimen B. You have to identify specimen B and mention one nutrient it supply. So specimen B is what? Beef. What does it supply? Supplies protein. Specimen C, you have to state one use of specimen C in the leather industry. So what is it used for? It is used to make shoes, bags, belts, and other leather goods. Specimen D, name the class of livestock. From which specimen D is obtained? So the answer is poultry. For specimen D again, we are asked to mention from the question, mention two feed contents usually found in specimen D. Now, what are the feed contents usually found in specimen D? One, grains, that's the answer, e.g., maize, and two, crushed bone meal. Specimen E, we are asked to identify specimen E and mention one disease. That may affect it. Now, the answer is fresh liver that is ruminant. That is what specimen D is about. And what is the disease that may affect it? That is what liver fluke. And for specimen F, you are asked to state one use of specimen F in locomotion. So, and what is the answer? The answer is support the animal's body weight during movement. Look at specimen G. You have to identify specimen G and mention its use in livestock production. So specimen G is weighing scale and then it is used to measure animal weight. Look at specimen H. The question says name specimen H and state its use in, produ in poultry production. So specimen H is egg candler. So it is used to check egg fertility. Or embryo development. Now look at specimen J. What is specimen J used for in animal production? So what is it used for? Measures temperature in animal paints or incubator. Now look at specimen K. So the question says state two hygienic practices necessary when using specimen K. Number one answer is sterilize needle before use and number two is discard used discard used needle safely looking at specimen j what precaution the question there is what precaution should be taken when using specimen j in an animal pen so the first answer you know you are asked to state the precaution one keep away from direct sunlight two calibrate regularly for specimen g Give two ways of maintaining specimen G in good condition. The answer, one, clean after use. Two, store in a dry, cold place. Specimen K, 
state two steps in administering drugs with specimen K. The two steps are for the answer number one, draw the correct dosage. Number two, inject in the recommended site. For specimen A again, you are asked to, what, to state two reasons why specimen A is preferred over bare ground. And the answer is one, absorbs waste. Two, it reduces food injuries in bed. Now, for specimen B, specimen L, and specimen M, you are asked to mention one livestock product each represents by specimen B, L, and M. Again, for specimen B, L, and M, the question there is you are asked to mention one livestock product each represented by specimen B, L, and M. So, for specimen B, the answer is represents meat. For specimen L, it represents cheese. And for specimen M, it represents milk. For specimen C and N, you are asked to distinguish between specimen C and N as animal by product. As animal by product. As animal by product. So, for specimen C, it is leather. That is skin. For specimen N, it is on, that is add keratin material. For specimen L, you are asked to state one processing method used to preserve specimen L, and the answer is refrigeration or salting. The next specimen is specimen N. Then in specimen N, the question is you are asked to list two uses of specimen N in local crafts, and what is the answer? One used to make combs and two used to make ornaments for specimen m you have to identify the specimen used to produce cheese and the answer is milk in bracket specimen m for specimen p you have to state the class of feed to which specimen p belongs to and the answer is leguminous forage leguminous forage now moving to specimen p again we are asked to mention two nutrients present in specimen p and the nutrient specimen p will give us that's the answer it is protein and vitamin now going to specimen p again we are asked to mention sorry for specimen p again we are asked that why should leucena leucesophala For specimen P again, you are asked why should Lucena leucesophala not be fed in excess? And the answer here is it contains what? Mimosin, which can be toxic in large amounts. That's the good answer there. For specimen P again, the question here says which specimen serve as a protein supplement in animal feed? And the answer represent specimen p so as you can see that now before i move to specimen l if you really found this thing helpful to you for you to study and if you believe that some of these questions will come out during your exam kindly like this video give us a nice comment and share this video to your friend so that at least it's going to help them as well so that everybody can pass and have a good grade and after your exam if you see this thing helping your exam Come back to this video and let us know in the comment section. Now let's go to specimen L. Specimen L says which specimen is a milk product and its nutritional importance. So that means the answer is cheese, which is specimen L, which provides proteins and calcium. For specimen A, again here, says the, the question says describe the appearance and texture of specimen A. Then the answer is light brown, dry, sawdust, or flaky like structure. Again, light brown, dry, flaky, or sawdust like structure, like texture. For specimen F, question here says describe how specimen F supports weight in animals. So, and this is the answer. The answer here is add keratinized structure distributes body weights evenly 
for specimen M and L. The question says compare specimen M and L in physical states and usage. Now for specimen M, it is a liquid in bracket milk. Specimen M rather is liquid and is milk. For specimen L, it is solid and and it is what cheese. So for the comparison, which is what both are dairy products. For specimen B, we have to describe one method of testing freshness of specimen B. And the answer here is press with finger. Fresh meat is firm and elastic. For specimen H, question says how can a farmer use specimen H to detect egg? And the answer is by candling to observe embryo development or blood vessel. As you can see, that is all. So I might can took my time to compile these questions for you and I included the answer. I tried to put it on the tabular form for you to take your time to study it and add all these things to anything, any material, any textbook you are reading for your upcoming YEC 2025 Animals Bandwidth Practical. So if you find this video helpful again, don't forget to give us a like, thumb, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye.